Hi everyone, welcome to Aria Budgets. My name is Aria and in today's video I'll be sharing with you all my side hustle and how I plan to cover my $1,000 shortage. So don't go anywhere and let's get started. Hi again and thank you so much for watching and supporting my journey to financial independence. If you're new here, I am a single mom of two, currently drowning in debt and in this channel I'll be posting videos as I create an emergency fund, how I pay off debt, uh, budgeting, cash stuffing, hopefully fingers crossed soon, and in general, how I learned to manage my money. So if this is content you think you enjoy, please stick around and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Last video, I share my budget for the month of December and I was short $1,000. The prior month in November, I also shared my budget and I was short another $1,400 and I knew at that pace I was never going to get out of debt. So I decided to see what was out there to increase my income and I am happy to announce that I have joined the food delivery industry, you guys. So I signed up to Uber Eats, Grubhub, DoorDash. I have even signed up to Instacart. I've tried everything and anything that you could possibly think when it comes to food delivering apps. I am happy to announce that I was approved to all of them, but I have, I've been doing Uber Eats now for a few weeks, you guys, and I honestly love it. Not only does it give me the freedom of signing in and signing out whenever it's convenient to me, and as a single parent, that it's something that I truly appreciate, because as you, as you know, and if you didn't, I do have a full-time job and also my two daughters that I need to take care of and for. Um, this gives me that freedom that as a parent, I, I need to have. Um, it's not amazing money, but it's something that I need as of right now. My first week wasn't that great. It was, I was just testing the waters and I did it for a few hours and i was able to make 83 dollars you guys in my first week when i did it so i'll be putting here week one now in this week i did try doing uber and also grubhub so that i was combined in grubhub i don't make that much money i don't know maybe my market is not that popular but i think it's better with uber eats now let's take into consideration that i want to say it's tricky because not only am i adding mileage to my car but i'm also spending more gas and i have to put aside my own taxes so because of that i decided to open two new bank accounts uh, within my personal bank one is to receive the deposit for all of the income that i receive from my food delivering apps now uber eats uh deposits every tuesday and grubhub deposits every monday so everything that I work for one week, I'll receive it on the following week, which is great. Now, my second bank account that I created is for taxes purposes only. So because Uber Eats and Grubhub also, they consider me as a consultant. I am an independent driver, like a, my own boss type thing. I am responsible for putting aside my taxes. Now, the taxes account is a savings account all of the money will be just thrown in there every single month i will be doing it that way rather than doing it every week i plan on doing it every month the same thing for my deposit i am not going to touch that money until that full month has ended so i have also downloaded the application uh every budget every budget every dollar every dollar from dave ramsey which is great i created my full budget with the same numbers that i share with you guys on on the month of december and it is awesome guys so i will be keeping track of how much money i spend on gas there so that i could then take it out by the end of the month when i have accounted for every single week uh, of my delivering apps so as i mentioned in week one i only worked for a few hours and i made 83 dollars which is not a lot but it is great i was just getting my foot my feet wet i wanted to see how it was and yeah i i loved it so i continued doing it and week two i it's been my best week as of today so far i made 361 dollars this was after taxes 
this is after taxes i haven't deposited anything yet like i said i am waiting to see everything uh, by the end of the month and i'll just do one full transfer to my new taxes account thankfully my bank uh, gave me the opportunity to create a new bank account without having to uh, have any minimum there for now i have 30 days to make my deposit my first deposit uh, it does have a maintenance fee but as long as i maintain a $500 minimum every day in the account, I won't have to pay uh, the monthly fees. And also I have, I think it was six months, six months of no interest free. So they are giving me time to let's say build my 500, my everyday $500 limit within those months. And honestly, I think I will at the pace that the taxes are, are going here uh, for on uber okay so my first week was 361 my second week was 361 dollars now for this week i did use uh 50 dollars on taxes so technically i owe i will only be left with 33 dollars from that week but for this week uh, i spent a little bit more because i worked every single day uh yes every day all seven days of the week i worked uh, during my week two and i spend $67 on gas so after gas for this one I will be staying with $3.11 this week I uh, $50 on gas only I got very lucky there it was great I, I loved it I want to say it was a lot of hours so technically I worked my full-time job plus about 25 hours here that was 65 hours I worked in week two combined with my side hustle and full-time job so after $50 here on gas I'll be left with $311 for this week all right on my third week I went ahead and made $235 and this week there were a lot of events happening in the school the girls had winter concerts so I had to go into they go to two different schools which one is in middle school and the other one is in elementary school so I had to go and be a parent because I am I, I am not willing to risk that. So my priority is being a mom. Yes, I do want to get rid of all of this, but I don't mix things. My kids are number one. This and everything else is, is second nature for me. Okay. Remember this month has five weeks. So week four also was a lot less. 118. I only made 100 and 18 dollars and remember this this is after taxes oh yeah looking at my math i have my little cheat sheet here next to me i didn't take out taxes for this one so it's a lot less but that's okay because i was only getting my feet wet like i said i just wanted to try it out and see what it was like but yeah so i had 118 dollars for the second week uh the the fourth week because it was the fourth week so you know we have christmas eve we have christmas and those days are days that i wanted to spend with my kids i did not want to go out and work for christmas day i don't think how busy it will be being that most places are closed so i wanted to enjoy that time with my children and also for christmas eve now i am Caribbean I, I do come from the island so in my homeland Christmas Eve I want to save mostly for the Hispanic community that has come from their country of origin now that they've been born and raised here in the U.S. I was not I came here as a late teenager closer to my 20s so Christmas Eve is kind of the big day for us Christmas Day we just stay and eat whatever was left from Christmas Eve uh, and, and things like that so for us big big family day is christmas eve so christmas eve and christmas day i did not want to work so for week five is upcoming i want to even though we have a uh, new year's and new year's eve maybe i'll work for a few hours in my full-time job i am working every single day i don't have any days off this week only the 26th because the and everything i guess is closed that day offices are closed but yeah i don't know for this one yet this one is pending for week five is pending i am aiming for another 361 dollars if i do that i'm not going to count the 83 dollars because i did not take taxes out for this one yet so i'm going to leave that one out 
and so far I have 361 plus 235 plus 118. So far I have $714 and I was short $1,000 to me, $1,000. So I need $286 after taxes. So I need to have a week almost as big as this one. I need to work every single day in week five in order for me to um, make my shortage for for this month for this month so with that being said this one is spending and that is how i plan on covering my one thousand dollar budget now as i mentioned before there are more things that need to be accounted for um i have to deduct some money for eventually for car maintenance because i will be running my car more often which means probably more often oil changes and the wear and tear of the car and things like that which is fine i am okay with it because that's not my top priority at the moment my main concern right now is covering that big hole in my budget which i think i'll be able to do with just this now i do have a big announcement to make and that is that i have a side hustle number two you guys side hustle number two and to be honest this was something that i never expected i would do because it's something that i don't want to say i enjoy I, I don't know i guess there's some people that do enjoy doing it but it's not something that i see myself doing in the long run in the long term it's something that i'll be doing for now in for the time being and that is cleaning I've been cleaning my home for free since I don't know when, since I was little. I guess it happens to everyone, but I never consider getting paid for doing this. Cause like I said, it's not something that I enjoy, but in my situation right now, I am not in a position where I do things that I enjoy, even though I could find joy, enjoyment in the things that I, I am doing. Just like I said, I enjoy doing Uber Eats. I will be enjoying this also because it's not a lot for, to work one day a week and I'll be getting paid $175 every two weeks. So that is extra $350 a month. So that being said, you guys, I am still going to aim for the $1,000 in Uber Eats alone. I am going to be working more and more and more. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I will. It needs to happen. I need to make it happen, at least for the time being. So if I do that, plus, I, how much did I say? It was 700 and something. I didn't write it down. Plus, um, let me take this one out. 361 plus 235 plus 118. So I, ha I will have by the end of the month already as of today. Well, not as of today because I'm still waiting for one more uh week i'll be getting paid the other 175 by the end of the month this is going to be paid to me on every other friday which is great but i know for a fact i'll be getting paid for that because it's for now it's undefinitely so we will see until when um so yeah without counting the week five which is coming this monday for uber i already have one thousand sixty four dollars so if i do make the 364 let me not even but i like to dream okay so that i could see myself i will have 1424 which means i'll have a little tiny bit of money to put aside for my emergency fund that is if i do make this much money which that is the goal so yeah that is how i plan to covering to cover my one thousand dollar shortage you guys and i am excited i am planning on every month have at least 250 dollars to throw into my emergency fund and also eventually once i have my one thousand dollars saved up i would then move on to creating to start paying my debt i don't know what do you guys think i have like i said i've seen your comments and i've seen a lot of the common questions which i'll be moving on to for right now q a and the most commented subject was my house thought about relocating and 
things like that and i will give a little backstory and i do want to say i didn't expect to receive all of the comments that i've had i understand some comments have been harsh i'm not going to lie i am human and it is not easy to be seen uh, on someone else's microscope or how people perceive me i am aware and like i said i know that i have made very bad financial decisions but i do want to say i haven't always been like that and don't get me wrong i do love shopping i do love shopping and i enjoy very much eating out i want to say that is my number one guilty pleasure i will be doing something in future videos as i want to see how much money i spend just eating out this year in 2022 let me know if you guys are interested in something like that but yes my number one guilty pleasure is eating out i do love and enjoy eating out but like i was saying before i haven't always um, made such a bad financial decisions and because of that i today have the place that i have i've seen a few people that say consider relocating relocating right now is not an option it's non-negotiable i do not want to move and i don't think i could even if I wanted to, which I don't, but I'll explain why. Before I moved here, I had, and when I first became a single parent, I tried having roommates. And at first I did it with a family member, which was great because it was someone that I felt comfortable with. And this person paid me $500 and $550. It was 500 tourist rent and 50 for utilities for, for electric, which wasn't bad. And that lasted for quite some time. I want to say maybe around eight months or so. But then it was uh, it and uh, this person they decided to have their own place and which which is fine <laughs> things happen and it was okay my girls were very young at the time that was quite a few years ago and after that after that roommate relationship ended my roommate ended up moving i thought i would try with someone else there was a friend someone that i consider my friend was looking for a place to rent um to move out of the parents house and i thought okay that it's fine you know we were relatively about the same age although i did have big responsibility because i had my children with me but it was uh, also someone that i thought that i could you know live with and i knew that this person was making money and they could afford paying me the 500 dollars, which this person agreed so i i was sleeping in one room with both of my girls and this other person was living sleeping in the other room my roommate had also a pet pit bull and i didn't charge extra or anything like that and although there was no damage to the property due to the dog let's say that I, because the pet was always kept in a crate and it was only let out inside of the room not throughout the apartment in the room it was a, a baby when my roommate was at home not when 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 my roommate will go to work, the pet was always kept in the room, in the crate. But here's the thing. The pet will pee and my roommate will grab the mop we had and kind of clean the urine, the pet urine with the mop and didn't really clean the mop. And then I will grab the mop and try cleaning the house and the house will be smelling like dog urine and I that was one thing i didn't appreciate i did try mentioning it to her in a nice way which was i bought another mop and i said okay i left this mop here maybe we could use this one for the pet only and i'll be using this one to clean the house which she agreed and it was and it was great then the major incident i think was the major incident for me and also for my roommate that one day i was in my room as one in my house as one does at night in their pajamas because it's comfortable you like i said you're in your own home you're not thinking you know you want to be comfortable and things like that but i wake up in the middle of the night for a glass of water and when i go to the kitchen i bump bump into this young man and i was like whoa i was in I, I, it's not that I had little clothing or anything like that, but I was in my pajamas, something that, you know, I use in the comfort of my home. I was not planning on sharing with anyone, especially a stranger. So to my shock, it was my roommate's boyfriend. So the next day I sat down with her and I explained to her that this is something that 
you know one maybe she should have talked to me about even though i knew she had a boyfriend i never expected her to bring the boyfriend in because you know it i have my girls there and even though i didn't think this person was capable or it's not that i'm saying oh this person could have hurt my kids but i think there should have be some boundaries and if she wanted to do something like that perhaps talk to me before doing it and the thing is after that i had a conversation with her she agreed and she apologized she said i'm sorry I didn't expect i didn't think that it would, it would be a problem i'm sorry but short after that a few weeks passed by and then right almost at the end of the month my roommate says you know what i am um, I, i didn't think this is working for me i am going to move out and i had no security which was my i guess my oblivious at me because i didn't do that with my pri previous roommate i didn't think it would be needed here or whatever i trusted her I, i don't know i don't know what it was i was very new at that but she ended up leaving me so i now had to scrap some money and you know it was tight because like i said my daughter was smaller and at that time i wasn't receiving child support and at that point after that experience i decided no more roommates for me then fast forward a few years afterwards and i'm by myself and right during covid quick pause here you guys so this video turned out to be a little longer than i anticipated so i decided to turn it into a two-part series in the second part i'll continue my story time as to how i ended up in the place that i am at now and why my cost of housing is so high as well as i'll be answering questions in regards to my credit cards child support questions i've seen in the comments and a lot more so if that is something that you think you'll be interested in watching please go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss the second part of the video i hope everyone had a lovely time with their family during this holiday season as well as i did i just want to take a quick moment to tell you guys how happy i am and how much i appreciate each and every one of you who have subscribe to my channel and anyone that's watching also i am very grateful for each and every one of you i didn't think i would hit the mark of 600 within less than two months of having a youtube channel you guys have been amazing this community is great and i just want to take a quick moment to wish you all a very happy holiday season merry christmas everyone feliz navidad and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye